हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर टेन लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्लेक्शन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द बेसिक टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर व्हाट इज लाइट लाइट इज द एनर्जी दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एनी सोर्स व्हिच हेल्प अस टू सी वेरियस ऑब्जेक्ट सराउंडिंग अस सो व्हाट विल बी द सोर्सेस ऑफ लाइट यस द एलईडीज एंड द बल्ब्स that we are seeing in our daily life those are the example of sources of light and what will be the natural source of light yes the sun is definitely a source of natural light now the second term is reflection what is reflection when a light coming from any source falling on any of the surface there are two condition whether it is absorbed by the surface completely or it bounces back or it return back in the different direction the second case is called as reflection when the light coming from any source falling on any surface if it return back this is called as reflection of light so this is the diagram of reflection of light i have drawn a light is coming from this source this is the surface this is the coated one and this is the reflecting surface and we know that for reflection reflecting surface is very much required when the light coming from this source it strike at this point and return back in this direction and falling on any screen and make image we will discuss about image later first of all what are the components of reflection we have to study the first thing is incident ray incident ray can be defined as the light that is coming from any source which is falling on any surface for reflection that is called as incident ray and it is denoted by the capital letter i now after striking to the surface when the light return back it bounces back that ray is called as reflected ray and it is denoted by capital letter r now you have seen that there is a perpendicular to the surface which is called as normal next is angle i angle i is also called as angle of incident this is the angle between the incident ray and the normal which is perpendicular to the surface this angle is denoted by angle i i should be small similarly angle r is the angle of reflection which is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal and angle i is equal to angle r angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection they made same angle now there is one more thing that is a point of incident this is the point at which incident ray reflected ray and the normal they meet at the same point this is called as point of incident now let's see what is the difference between regular and irregular reflection in the diagram of regular reflection we are saying that there is a regular coated surface which is no use here but the regular smooth and reflecting surface is very much required for the regular reflection suppose if the light coming from any source rays coming towards the surface when it fall on any surface it return back and fall on the screen in this case we have seen that angle i and the angle r are similar in all the cases incident rays are also parallel and reflected rays are also parallel this is the case of regular reflection but in the case of irregular reflection there is a distorted surface this is the distorted coated surface and this is the distorted reflecting surface if parallel rays coming from any source falling on the surface which is distorted and rough they will not give us parallel reflected rays 
because the surface is very rough they will deviate into different direction and they will not make a clear image in this case angle i and angle r you are saying it is different in all the rays the value of angle i and r for this ray will be greater and for other it is smaller we can add some point that for regular reflection smooth surface is required and for irregular reflection rough surface is required and these two surface should be reflecting also incident ray and the reflected ray they both are parallel but in the irregular reflection incident ray are parallel but reflected rays are not parallel to each other in the next point we can add angle i and angle r incident angle and the angle of reflection they are equal and similar for all the incident rays but in the irregular reflection you are saying the angle i and the angle r are different for the different rays the very last point you can give some examples on which surface the regular reflection is visible like the plane mirror plane mirror is very smooth it, the surface of metal is also shiny that's why it will lead to the regular reflection for irregular reflection wooden surface and stone surface are the good examples i hope you have wonderfully understood this concept for your knowledge i have given two important question based upon this concept the first question is state the law of reflection and the second question is is irregular reflection do not obey the law of reflection in upcoming video i will discuss law of reflection and the various factors dependent on it and please subscribe the channel and share with your classmates